I think the other big thing that holds us back from taking risks and trying something different, and it doesn't really get talked about all that much really, is our kind of need to fit in, you know, stick to the well-trodden path. And actually, for me, that was the hardest thing in retrospect to overcome. We've talked already about how society teaches gender roles, but it's much broader than that. It's about normalisation more generally. And my brother pointed me recently in the direction of um, a great video, if you haven't seen it, made by the Jubilee Project. And it asked 50 people just one question. What would you change about your body? Now, I'll give you a second to think what your own answer to that might be. Okay, what would you change about your body? I hope everyone's got an answer in their minds. Um, perhaps, like some of the people in the video, you'd have gone for something like my height, my big ears, my stretch marks. It's not me, honestly. Uh, but the interesting thing about this project was that they also asked a group of children the same question. And here's a sample of their answers. I want to have a mermaid tail. I want a shark's mouth so I can eat loads of food. <laughs> I want wings so I can fly. Isn't it brilliant how children chose to add superpowers and most of the adults choose to fix perceived flaws? And I think what this tells us over time is that we conform. You know, our minds close, our world view contracts and it's shaped and moulded by what's around us. And the more time goes by, the harder it is to escape those shackles. And of course, fitting in is important. It's comfortable, it's necessary. Ask any teenager ever. But later in life, it can also become a major barrier to ambition, to innovation, to creative thinking. <laughs>